Welcome to Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes. Today I'm joined by the amazing Sandra Cross. Welcome, thank you for coming to come and spend some time with us. Oh, thank you for having me, it's a pleasure. So firstly, what age did you get into music? Well, I got into music from the age of, well seriously, I mean at the age of five it was more like a, you know, a church thing. You go in the choir and you sing because you have to. Um, but I think when I decided to, to, take, to do it independently it was around the age of 14. And I entered a talent contest, and the prize was I won the contest, okay. and the prize was to um, record the actual song, and the song went to number one. What song was that? And that was I Adore You. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, what is your background? Just say you went to start to sing at five. So, what is your background musically in the church? Yeah, I would. Yeah, because my my parents they were they were um, you know they they used to go to church like it felt like every day. You know, um, they were really into the into the religion. So, and then we had to be, you know. So then we just naturally grew up with the music instruments around us and the tuning and everything. Okay, yeah. So it was the music in the church that inspired you to become a singer. Yes, it was. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay. So, do you remember what was the first single that you bought? Oh my God! The first single I bought. I think it was. Uh, funny enough, it, I think it was Janet Kay. I do love you. Ah, I love that song. <laughs> yeah. What is your favourite album by another artist? My favourite album by another artist would have to be the Whitney Houston, um, um, I can't remember the name of the title of the album, but it was um, a Whitney Houston, I, is it I Love You? It's not, I can't remember the name of the title. What was the last event that you played at? The last event that I played at was um, <clears throat> a, um, a couple of weeks ago, it was a private function in Birmingham, private, um, well, when they say private function, it was actually in a big venue, but it was a private function. And I, I just performed for a, a close friend, yeah. Okay. So describe your music, describe your music. My music, I'm still trying to figure it out right now. I could, I could describe what I used to sing, but you know, things sort of move on. So I'm at a stage now where it's like a crossroads. It's like, what is my music? What do I sing? What is it? Is it lovers rock? Is it reggae? Um, I know it's got a chip, 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 chip. You know what I mean? And that's a reggae beat. Um, um, but I, I, I can only, I can only describe it as it's soothing, and it's well loved all over the world, and it's it's a, it's a genre that I enjoy singing very very much. Okay. Yeah. So, what are your top three genres of music that you like to listen to personally? My top three genres would have to be, I like classical music, funny enough. I like a bit of pop. It isn't funny, you know. Uh, <laughs> because it's, it's relaxing and it's soothing, yeah, especially when you've had a hard, stressful day. Classical, a bit of pop, and I would say um, soul. Okay. Soul music, As in yeah. soul or R&B? Soul. soul. Real, okay. real soul. <laughs> I'm not saying okay. r and is not okay. real, but... <laughs> okay. Um, so what jobs have you done other than being a singer? What oh, my done? God. I wish I'd looked at these questions. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, what jobs did I have to do? Oh my God. I mean, I've done everything. I've, I've, the longest I've kept a job is two weeks. Okay. Because, you know, I just had to go in there at certain times and I realised that this is not what I could do or meant to do. And I mean, I'm kind of like happy-go-lucky, really. I've taken life a bit happy go lucky so I could I should have swarmed in and swarmed out of things jobs like that but I never taken anything seriously in in the job market no um if you could go back in time is there anything that you would do differently <sighs> I would exercise my tummy from when <laughs> I had my kids I'd have my kids but then I would do a lot more exercise to keep the flaps the in. ones that they told you to do that you said oh right okay. yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um mm. What do you do in your spare time? I know you have a son, but yeah. what do you do in your spare time? Nowadays, oh, I, I, I tend to sort of keep myself sort of quiet. I do a lot of meditation. Um, as I get older, there's a lot of things that I think about, you know, in the past, in the present and the future. So I find myself thinking a lot. Um, I, I relax. I listen to the radio. I listen to, I don't really listen to a lot of radio stations. I listen to music on the, on the internet and just focus on what I need to do. 
okay. basically, okay. in life. So what kind of music are you listening to now? What, 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 what artists are you listening to? I listen to a lot of stylistics, okay. um, a lot of the old Whitney Houston material. Um, I listen to um, sort of like, I think it's more the old time pop for some reason. I don't know why I'm listening to that, but that's what I sort of gravitate to when I turn on the, on the computer here. Okay. What song of yours are you most proud of? I'm proud of all my songs. They're all, I'm proud of every single one. They all stand out. They, they, were, they, I think each one inspired each other. You know, every time one came out, it inspired the one that just came out and inspired the one that's going to come out. So yeah, all my songs have been, you know, inspiration for me. Yeah. All right, I know you had a lot of, had a lot of jobs, but if you wasn't a singer, what would you do? Oh my God. What would be your dream job if you wasn't a singer? I don't even have a dream job. I don't, my life is just like, I feel like a whirlwind. It always has been, and like, what would I do if I wasn't a singer? I, you know what? I, I, okay, I, I I used to write a lot of stories at school, so I think I would probably get into writing novels and you know biogs and stuff like that. Yeah. Too late. No, yeah, I hope so. Good. Okay, but other than the people that you're with now, if you could put a dream band together, who would you be with? You mean as the musicians? Yes. Oh, you mean okay. no, and to sing with? with sing you, with yeah, a dream band. To have on a stage with you. Mm. I'm kind of like into Shaggy at the moment. Okay. Funny enough. <laughs> Shaggy, um, I'm like, and I kind of like a bit of Chronics. I love Chronics. So I imagine myself singing with Chronics and Shaggy popping on every now and again. <laughs> yeah. But chat. yeah, but well, that kind of set up definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What music can't you stand to listen to? What music hurts your ears? What music? Well, there's a lot of music that I can't stand to listen to. Um, um, and what hurts my ears? Um, basically, it's, um, oh, this is, I'm, I'm going to try and put this in a nice way. Kind of like the stuff that comes out of America, like the bubblegum stuff that comes out of America. I really cannot stand it. I'm not allowed to mention names, right? No. Okay. Um, it's just that stuff that's come out of America I and it's fooling all the young people, I understand, basically. I understand. Yeah. Um, if you could dabble in another genre, what would it be? I like jazz. You like jazz? Yeah, yeah, I like jazz. But not the sort of extreme one. There's a kind of in-between mellow. mellow jazz where it almost sounds like lovers rock, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, I've always loved that kind of that kind of music, yeah, yeah, definitely. So tell me, what else can we expect from you in the future? Well, you know what? I'm hard at work every day. It's only now at my age I'm realising how important it is to focus on your career and to go for something that you never, you know, you never imagine. I'm just going for everything that I never imagined that I could go for because I, I'm, I believe that whatever you focus on or whatever you believe in, it will happen in some way or form. So what you expect from me is just little bits of, oh, did she really say that? Or wow, did she really do that? And God, you know, it's just little surprises, but all positive, all positive. Lovely philosophy. Um, what are your fondest musical memories? My fondest musical memories, I'm sorry, I, it has to be the Whitney Houston concert. I went to a concert in 1980, 1991, and I was, I, I was like the first and the last time I've been to a concert as big as that. But to actually get backstage, I, I, you know, I was able to get backstage and meet her and Bobby Brown, and just that, just that time, I, I mean, that's something that I will never forget. It was just like a, a, a divine presence. Aww. You know, I mean, I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan of Whitney Houston. Rest, rest in peace. Yeah, and so that whole night, that that whole experience there was that I'll never forget. Definitely. Lovely. So, do you still get nervous before a performance? What? <laughs> Is that what you call it? Nervous. I'm, sometimes it feels like they have to go and call the ambulance. Oh I need a toilet. I need. I need someone to, to. I need a glass of Bailey's with no ice. It's it's sham. It's just madness. But you know, it's like a split second between stepping up onto stage, st standing at the side of the stage, and stepping on. There's something happens between those two steps that I can't even describe it. Because when I'm on stage, I don't. I can't remember. You know what I was before I went on. So I don't. Know, I don't know what they call that. Is that some sort of alter ego or something? I don't know. But yeah. Sasha Fierce. Yeah, <laughs> Sasha Fierce. <laughs> so do you still make mistakes? If you do, oh, you mean how like, do you handle them? Do you just carry on? Well, 
yeah, I find ways of hiding it. I've got a problem sometimes with the lyrics. I'm, I'm sure every artist has that problem, forgetting lyrics. It's like your sing-along crew, I'm sure they help you. Exactly, remember. yeah, exactly. I mean, I remember in Japan, it happened in Japan, I didn't, couldn't totally... I um, lost the lyrics and they all and they sang all the lyrics for me. I just said, Yeah, great, I'm gonna go and get a cup of coffee, you can continue. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it was yeah. But everyone, you know, most artists forget the lyrics. I don't know if it's an age thing, I hope it's not an age thing. So tell me, what advice would you give to any up and coming artist now? Wow. What advice? You know what? I was just saying to to to, to Carly and a few minutes ago, the internet and the online thing is what's kicking it nowadays. I don't even think that um, people that are coming up in the business need advice. They can just go on the internet and learn, basically. Because if a human being was to give an advice, that is their personal experience. And there's so many avenues to go down when you're chasing a career in the industry. So many different avenues and choices that you have. So then why would they sort of learn of your choice? They would need to go out there themselves and experience themselves. And the one thing that's kicking it and pushing it right now, I'm so sorry, is the social media and the internet, as bad or as good as it is, basically. So I believe that's where you go and learn, basically, what's going on in the world and what you need to do and what you need to be. Thank you very much. Mm. Is there anything that you'd like to say to Don Sinclair? Uh, yeah, that way. <laughs> 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 so I want to thank you for having me today. It's been a pleasure. It was a hell, it was hell getting here on the train, but it was great once I got here got relaxed and everything it was great and I just feel honoured to be a part of this setup great I feel good well, on behalf of myself and Don Sinclair I would like to say thank you thank you for having me my name is Angelique for Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes hope to see you again soon bye <laughs>